Hello there, welcome back to a new episode of We Have Been Watching Podcast, where we're doing our read-along Star Wars episode. Today, it is the much-discussed Last Jedi. I am the purple-haired Captain Holdo Mart, and I'm here with Mary Poppins, Princess Leia. It's Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh Dameron. Thank you. And we've got the American's answer to Captain Phasma. It's special guest Casey. Hello, Casey. Hello. Cap- it's being, ca- being compared to Captain Phasma. Is that a, a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, really. I think it's great. That'll, that'll work for us. So I think it's great. Casey, That's fine. Tell, tell us a bit about yourself for people who don't know you as of yet. Well... Uh, I was born into the sci-fi world. I have a dad who writes sci-fi and was lucky enough to have him drag me off to conventions and things, That's which, you know, of course, was, is, yeah. me to, oh my gosh, it was great. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it, it, to we, have a dad that would drag me around and take me, so I got to meet a lot of really cool people, and, uh, make a whole bunch of friends. And, and you're a mega Star Wars nuts, which is why we've got you on here today, haven't we? I think I am. I like to think I am. That's good. Right. So, (laughs) Rob, (laughs) I'm I'm looking at our notes here, and I've got to say, you didn't give this a very favourable score. What were your thoughts coming into it again after? I mean, it's been a long time since I've watched this. Yeah, I think I came to it thinking that I remember being disappointed at the cinema. Um, But again, it's, it's, it's different thinking. What was it? Was there three years gaps between these ones? So watching it, I'm still finding that watching it weekly gives things a little bit of a spin and you kind of judge things slightly different. So I just thought coming straight on the back of Force Awakens, watching it a week later, whether it would be come across a bit more favorable, but I think it actually had the opposite effect actually (laughs) watching it. I actually agree with you on that one. Yes, comparing it directly to Force Awakens actually Mm -hmm. So we could, I don't know, there's, there's, bit, just, there's bits in it as we, we'll go through it. There's things that are promising, there's things that are frustrating, there's some things that were just a bit of head scratching, thinking, why did they make that choice? It's just a bit, so, yeah, it's a bit yeah. of a mixed bag. I was, uh, now, I know we're stalkers, but I'm going to say it once again. So, a friend of the show, <laughs> Bex, spoke to me a little bit. He said, Did you notice that uh, Kylo Ren's scar is different <laughs> to the one that he's just got at the end of Force Awakens? And apparently, mm-hmm. apparently, Ryan Johnson was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm putting a scar there instead. So, that's a little bit jarring to start off with. Because if you've waited three years normally, you wouldn't remember it that well. But of course, if you've just watched it, <laughs> watched it yeah, you know, seven days uh, before. Casey, do you know who mm-hmm. Aid Edmondson is? I don't. Should I? <laughs> well, no. he... I, I, it's just a British. T- it's always just a. Yeah, it's just, it's just one of the. Um, the well, I was going to say Imperials, whatever the class does, the, the officers for the First Order at the start, isn't he? And he's it, just one of. Uh, he's, he's like well known on British TV for. Got it. Got comedy stuff. Well, mainly comedy. There's a lot like of comedy. Young stuff. Ones or Bottom. I don't know if you know any of those shows. But I can always, we can always send a YouTube link. I, want, so, I know the young ones oh, now. Yeah, yeah, I, so I watched that. He yeah. was, he yeah, was yeah, in that. the young ones, the punk with the, with the stars. Like yes, I know exactly. Now I know. Who, that, yes, I know exactly him. who you're talking about. And at cinema, I was <laughs> what? like, that's Hayden Edmondson. So, f- first things first, General Hux has had a really rough time, hasn't it? He looks really, really rough <laughs> doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Re- yeah. rewinding, if, if, even before that, the, the the thing that kind of put me in a negative mood watching this film already was in the scroll when it just says about basically the Republic has just been destroyed. And he was talking about this when he was talking about Force Awakens, how this idea that at the end of Jedi, you feel like everything's going to be better now. They've got rid yes. of the Empire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it seems yeah. odd when they start talking about Princess Leia being in this small resistance. And I think, well, hang on a minute, the Republic's got rid of the bad guys now. Isn't everything fine? <laughs> and they're just pushing it straight back to having a tiny little rebellion again. So yeah. just in there, it's all just, oh, the Republic have been destroyed by the First Order. What? Because <laughs> yeah. well, that, it's gone. There's, there's a point where, and I'm sorry, I'm skipping ahead, um, but I, I just remember thinking, you know, when they're at the end and they're in that little bunker, and um, I remember there's a point where... Leia is kind of looking out. I think she feels that like Luke is there or something. But yes. I just remember thinking like, if this was me, I'd be like, oh my god, I am still here, yes. <laughs> like trying to get this done. Like, no holy one. crap! No How many holes have I got to hide out in? Like, I just 
she looks rough for the wear and I, and I love Carrie Fisher don't get me wrong but like I just yeah. think at that point I would just be like oh my god <laughs> have you like, no, god. Have you, I didn't notice in Force Awakens, and I've not checked this, but she stops using a fake English accent. Ooh. When did she stop doing that? Because she took. She talks in an American accent in Last Jedi. Yes. And yes. It, I really I noticed it and thought, hang on a minute, she's not using that kind of fake yeah. English accent. I didn't even notice that. I noticed that. She, she, she looked oh, rough. Yeah. But in Force, um, I'm not sure what she. I'm not, I'm not sure if she uses an accent in Force Awakens or not. So we all know, regular listeners will know, Rob's not a fan of the space battles and things. So you know the <laughs> Poe Dameron kind of jokey speech, Poe Dameron. Jo- jokey, and I was like, okay. It's, oh yeah, yeah. It, it feels weird. Yeah, it feels weird. It's not a bad joke it's just it feels a little bit out of place for start it's just okay isn't it and him shooting all the cannons is that is pretty cool yeah, when he's flying his ship around it's that thing isn't it of to me that is a and i'm air quoting here it's a mid early 2000s joke that if the more the, the longer this film goes on are we going to look back and go oh yeah do you remember those your mama jokes we used to make always it's going to age itself <laughs> it's like Doctor Who saying the fam all the time it's ageing itself Fringy, yeah. really mm-hmm. but, yeah but yeah I, I really like that mm-hmm. I really like I love I love the fact that Poe is this four sensitive pilot who's just brilliant and he's Robert what is it when everyone X-Men. good got to be force sensitive? See, yeah, that's that's something I noticed and and listen to you guys before is the force sensitive and ha- you if you're a good pilot because I remember sensitive. seeing Poe at the yeah. beginning of it and I'm like okay anybody else would be dead at this point this guy is about to face off and he's just like do 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 and and I'm thinking okay well I guess he's got to be force sensitive like I actually yeah. said that <laughs> when I was watching it so I mean God that's got to be the most ships like the bombers. What, what, why are bombers so slow? <laughs> because well, there's no. More, more there's than no... that, how, how does it, how do you drop a bomb in zero gravity? Don't start me off on this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start me. So, so this how time, does that work? This they time, drop I'm, bombs. I'm, right. So apparently the bullshit answer is, oh, it, they're they're magnetically repelled oh, down. Oh, they really... And I'm like, Ugh. okay. Did did you find that Rose's sister was quite? I remember it being lots more of her in this, but actually she's there for a minute. Every every other ship is being destroyed. <clears throat> and I'm well, like, yeah, but she's force sensitive, Mark. She's force sensitive. <laughs> right? and, and kicking, That's how she kicks that kicking a you know, thing and makes it force. She she is one of two characters, female characters in this that you'll notice that you have a sentimentality with and a bond with, even though you don't really have that much time with them but they both sacrifice themselves and i think this the first one which we see less of is you you know you see the necklace um and and so you know there's got to be something growing up with my dad as as a writer um he taught me a lot about like i remember seeing i'm sorry i'm gonna have to go back to the prequels here for a second but um i remember when in what was it episode two when Boba sees Django get killed and then you see him like put his head to the helmet yeah, and yeah. my dad gets so excited and he kept like nudging me and he goes <laughs> foreshadowing foreshadowing oh, foreshadowing and he kept yeah. hitting me and of course when and I'm not joking when I saw it in Boba Fett and he had that like flashback I actually had to pause it and I started crying and I took like a screenshot and I sent it to my dad I'm like you were right <laughs> you know but but I mean he taught me especially with this franchise that everything is there for a reason like i heard that he had to cut like an entire hour of this film down because there was so much so if she's clutching onto a necklace there's got to be a reason oh, why absolutely now um so weirdly, i thought this woman she's she's, she's there's special. something about her yeah and yeah that's, and, that, and that's why i why i think the um the things with like the dice feels a bit forced. It's almost like they've probably mm-hmm. retroactively put that in and get, oh, remember the dice? They're super important from years ago. Yeah, it but, was in there but, a lot, wasn't but, it? But, now, but they weren't re- Regular listeners will also know how this film came out. I didn't cry at any point, Rob. I got, <laughs> I got slightly, I got slightly welled up, and I mean very, very slightly, very slightly, just remembering that Carrie Fisher died. Is it the end of this? And I thought, oh, we know what a shame. But there was definitely no, no welling up. I'm afraid at this one. Mm. Uh, do you think Finn is played for a fool in this? Because I remember it in Force Awakens. I thought, yeah, this guy's gonna be, 
going to be top top dog now. He's really he's out good. of his depth to start with in Force Awakens, and then he kind of mans up, up for a yeah. better phrase, I suppose. I, I don't feel like up. he ever grabs a spot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's right. I, I don't feel yeah. like he ever grabs. I think he just kind of floats around because I feel like he she just kind of like I know that he almost dies and protects, but like that's like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the whole reason he comes back into it is because like like here like, actually let me let me throw this out here because remember when he comes across rose you know and she's like i've had to stop so many people That's trying it, yeah. to leave and and he's like she's like oh, you're finn you're part i've never you know met like a resistance uh fighter hero or whatever and he's like mm. look i've got to help my friend it's like wouldn't she know who ray is yeah like if he just said like, I mean, she tased the crap out of him, man. <laughs> yeah. And, like, wouldn't she know exactly why he was who he was? Like, I think I would be like, look, what can I do to help? And it, Although, yeah, so he, he doesn't need to lie, does he? He just needs right, to just say, I didn't understand I'm going that up to do all. on this mission. Your friend. You mean your friend, Ray, who's, like, probably going to be the next Jedi that's gone off it's, to see? It's, okay. It's that thing of, of beautiful sort of looking at look it's films we wouldn't have films without strokes of luck and all that and you know when right. they, and, and i'm jumping around at this point but you know when when <laughs> finn and rose go down to that casino planet which is an hour that could have been mm -hmm. cut out of that yeah there's, there's no that, that the uh the imperials i'll call them there's no like oh look there's a little little escape just shoot her just just anyway <laughs> just, shoot, just shoot it just to say uh i found yeah. the, the hokey yeah. we're running them out of fuel thing bit more palatable this time than, than I oh the i didn't time. world's slowest chase <laughs> yeah that, that whole part was like i get it but at the same time it's, whenever yeah. i think back on this film i always think about that planet and that casino and that's not what i want to re i'd be happier remembering what is it is it snoke's uh super duper red birthing oh, yeah. canal type of throne room i'd rather remember that than and i love don't don't get me wrong i love the there's three cool animals that are introduced in this movie and it's what the it's are they called fathers the the racing horse type yeah, animals and then you've got oh, the pogs and then you've got those cool ice fox things yeah, those are cool so I those are awesome notes. so what my notes I've got a little bit out of order. I put uh, Leia, Mary Poppins. <laughs> so I was like, uh, okay. Oh gosh, no! Uh, 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 I think Casey, you, you may well remember from the episode one chat that we talked about when mm -hmm. we first see Jar Jar Binks. I sort of sat there, my my hand at the side of my face a little bit, so I didn't have to look at my wife because I was embarrassed. It's like being caught. Like, it's like being caught watching porn, isn't it? Right. <laughs> the, the Mary Pop Do you think the Mary Poppins bit could have worked if it was a bit more immediate? So she'd been blown out, you know, the in the vacuum of space. The yeah. explosions hit, and every, all the characters have been flung out, and she pulls herself straight back. Yeah. Well, like 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 and cool then they open the doors beat. to get her in and they aren't selected out of the doors. But, but like when she's just galaxy, lying there frozen, yeah. and it's, like, it's like, oh, the floor stops you from freezing in deep space as well, does it? It's just, it's, well, but I don't how mind come if she's that powerful? Did we not ever get to see any of her other powers at any other time? I mean, yeah, if, if she's uh, that, you know, omnipotent in a yeah. way, then like, well, what? <laughs> So they definitely, um, they definitely level up the Jedi's in this one, don't they? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've got oh, yeah. also on my notes here. I've got Holdo being a dick, but kind of right. <laughs> so I've, I've watched YouTube videos about why Captain She's... Holdo is the worst manager or boss you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> but Just do it. Just do it. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you the plan. Just do it. But, yes, but do it. to be fair, though, you know. Uh, He's got a right to do that, hasn't yeah, he? Po, yeah, Poe. Poe is a fly. He's Poe is Maverick, isn't he? Out of Top Gun, you know. He's a he's a hot shot. Mm. Dick. Oh yeah, but also, but also, don't you, don't you, but don't you think it's a little bit like you're the Chicago Bulls? You've got Michael <laughs> Jordan. You're gonna the coach is gonna say, Michael, what do you think we should do? This idea of just going, you're not the boss. Rob, like, sorry, Rob, you, Rob, you're using sports metaphors on me. You expect me to okay. follow any of these. Okay, so the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry, I got yeah. it. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, it's like, he's your star player. Yeah. Actually, uh, oh, I don't know, that bit of... Uh, I, I think I'm fanboying quite a bit over um, Oscar Isaac lately as well. Oh, same, so, same. I mean, it's I, just when, when she was slapping him, I, was, I felt a little bit incensed on his behalf. Like, dare <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, it, would, it wouldn't hurt to say. Man we have crush. a lot to pay back to him, especially, you know, all the way down to Mandalorian. I mean, you know, it, it, yeah. wouldn't have, have, it yeah. wouldn't have hurt for it to just say, right, OK, look, keep it to just yourself. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, you keep it to yourself. I've got a plan. I'll let you know in a bit. But just chill out for a minute. 
you know, we're in the middle of all manner of things going on. So just, 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 just chill. Uh, <laughs> but saying that, the the uh, hyperspace thing in silence. Whenever they use silence in space, I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. That's cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's really good. But the planet, <laughs> the stuff on the casino planet is just shit. And there's a, oh, gosh, <laughs> a yeah. and there's a bit yeah. I really, really hate on the casino planet. You know, when it's all kicking off, I, I quite like BB-8 rolling around full of money. I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> uh, but you know, there's like that, that little sort of drunken alien. And it, and he's oh, like putting a, the money in him. Yeah, right. A bit later on. Or the old so, lady putting now, the money in the slot machine. That's it, that's I lived it. in Vegas, that's so trust me, the whole thing left kind of just a bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess they got it right in a way, but. It's a bit too I much mean, like I Earth, left, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's it a bit just, yeah I, left, I left the scene just feeling dirty as well. So, I mean, yeah. I don't. Uh... You, you know, when they get all the horse animals free and they're going through, there's a bit where they're going mm. through and there's like a little alien opera singer and she goes, ah! And I'm just like, that really, <laughs> no, that really whole thing great. was very Benny Hill that, for me. I actually oh, wrote that in my notes. It really, I would really would like that bit because it's like Fifth Element. <laughs> no, if they had put it in there, it would have been great. It so, would have been great. One thing Did you spot Justin Theroux in that bit? Do you know who Justin <laughs> Theroux is? Yes. yes and no. Yes. Yeah. yes. I oh, forgot yeah. he was in this in a little cameo. So when it was, because uh, I've watched all of, what was that TV shows in The Leftovers? I've binge watched that since last time I watched The Last Jedi. So all, oh, yeah. now I've got a bit, I've got more of an appreciation of Justin Through. So seeing him in it. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, nice. yeah. it's oh him. Really great. Great. One thing I do great. like, so we haven't really mentioned Ray and Luke. I, I absolutely hate the fact that he threw his lightsaber over the thing. I like uh, well, when he just, he just, yeah, yeah but the, it's, I, I know what you mean, but I think it's saying, I, th I think it's like a choice from the director where he's obviously he's gone like, well, I'm going to try and do things a bit different here and, and maybe subvert things a bit. Yeah, but that's then fair enough. But then yeah. him throwing the lightsaber away. But then it's, I don't, and like burning the tree, but then he doesn't really commit to, it's like, it, I want to, I'm going to do something completely different and really subvert you. But then I'm going to also fall back on cliches and things that are, yeah, are training, too similar to what. Too, yeah. Oh, I actually do like jokey the, aliens on that island as well. Yeah, oh, the, the little nuns, <laughs> yeah, the, oh, oh, like the blue titty milk or the non alien, the little nun penguin things. I, I actually quite like the Ray, Ren link. I quite yeah. like that. I quite got into oh, yeah. that. that. That was a yeah, that yeah. Was a, there's good. I think I think there's good chemistry I think between it's those. Excellent. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean, there's the one bit when they kind of reappear together, don't they? But the bits when he's seeing each other, and that bit when he's got his shirt off and she's like <laughs> a little bit flustered, like a sort of well, teenage girl. You know, and I'm trying to bring up something good. you guys talked about. Is what if he was like, you know, I, I dream of you every night. And it's so sandy and uncomfortable here, but you're so... <laughs> I mean, like, there was Stalk nothing up. there, yeah. but with them, they have the best chemistry. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, see, it's not that hard. Although, yeah. um, I remember But I gotta, I gotta I never, say this. I oh, go ahead. Sorry, like go ahead. That. Yeah, comparing it to Anakin and Padme. Oh, yeah. gosh. These actors act oh, off the screen in comparison, well, don't they? Well, yeah. Finn and Rose, I mean, there's literally nothing there with Finn and Rose. <laughs> no. I, was, I was drier than Gandhi Sandal watching that, I tell you. I was so... <laughs> you, you know with Rose, the thing with Rose, yeah. because she got a lot of racist hate, didn't she, on the internet and stuff. Why? Because um, she's... Why? Just because she's Asian? Because, yeah. cause, well, well, people didn't like... Yeah. Um, so people didn't like the character, and then they were saying, uh, and they were being particularly racist about it. But right. I could see why people don't. The reason I don't like her character, you know, we said like when when she's first introduced, she's just a pain in the ass to Finn, isn't she? Yes. So you like yeah. Finn from Force Awakens. So the second that she's introduced to Finn, she's just like an interfering busy, but like some sort of annoying <laughs> you, member of the HR yeah, department. It, I like... just don't get it at all. If, if she's so, if she looks up to him so much, like I just I just don't get it i don't and get when, any and when they of go it. to the casino and she just look and i find it frustrating because when she starts going all misty-eyed and sad about the horses are being treated badly look over there and finn's oh like God. hang on i'm gonna i'm on a mission here to save the universe but so I'm people gonna, gonna suddenly... die <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's, just... it's like girl i get yeah. it you're all you're on this the... whole like eat a kick it's cool but like we gotta what do you yeah we gotta get, get going here so we are I have yeah. a, I, sort of grinds to a halt. I have an idea. <laughs> I reckon during the filming of this, they did, the, they did this, got them into the cell, the meet Benicio del Toro, and then Ryan Johnson oh. sort of stopped and he went, ben Benicio, what are you doing? What's, what's with the accents? You're not, you're not Johnny Depp being Jack Sparrow here. You know? <laughs> and he's like, S -s 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 sorry. And I'm like, Where, where's he going with this stuttering 
thing? Is he just trying to be an actor? Is he, is he dialing it up to 11 and breaking the knob off? Like, like Did you guys, whenever I see him, the first thing I think of is Fear and Loathing, which is interesting because they're in like Star Wars version of Las Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. Did anybody mm. else think of that? No. Like, I, I'm sorry. I guess I just I just think of we were somewhere around Barstow when the drugs began to take hold. You know, like that's what I, <laughs> yeah. whenever I see him, that's what I think of. And no, so, for me, for me uh, yeah, he's always in the usual that's suspects. Just my, that was my first experience with him, though. I quite like the, I'll put on my notes here. Uh, Luke's Luke's hand, his robot hand. I love the great mm-hmm. great effects. I love that, and I quite like the evil BB-8 on the. We're dressing. Oh, up. the spots that were. Yeah, we're dressing when up. He's got the bin on his head. Yeah, yeah, again, Rob. Yeah, again, <laughs> Rob. I mean, how tall? Is, so I'm really short. I'm five foot five. I'm gonna guess Rose is my height or smaller. Luckily, what? they've got some. They've got some. Oh, wait, that Rose, not me. This Rose, sorry. No, no. <laughs> Luckily, they've got <laughs> some. Uh, small person size outfits in the, in the imperial changing rooms oh well that's another thing isn't it with when they knock people out and oh, I, do you like that quite there's a quite a good gag where it looks like a spaceship and it's just an iron coming to iron them iron some yes, clothes that was quite good i quite <laughs> Again, like there's little things that I wish, there's little things like that i like and they're, and they're the kind of gags that you know you, you see in the marvel film so it's you can see where obviously disney have brought in yeah. that style of filmmaking but it, it's a little bit jarring at times but some of it, I, it doesn't didn't make me smile in place no, no. so did anybody else want luke to be on her back the way that yoda was on his <laughs> well good job i'm you sorry yoda. it just would have been funny okay good job <laughs> like, i think yoda. that was that was the first note i made is i wish she had to carry luke just <laughs> for a moment or he made a joke on it i think mean, because yoda shows up and he hacks his crazy self oh, and there you i go. just thought it would be funny yeah and he got a stick as well he's ba- bashing her on the head as well <laughs> yeah you can't beat puppy yoda that that's what that's what we love <laughs> did anyone notice Captain Phasma's voice when you first meet her again. What, Gwendolyn Christie? Yes. You know, she's like, oh, Finn. It's all like breathy, kind of femme It's like, oh, Benicio del Toro, whatever his name is. We're here at last. Oh, and I'm like, why are you speaking like that? You're meant to be like a captain of the guard or something. Right. Not, 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 a, not a breathy, sexual. Yeah, <laughs> sexy... I, I, I think, yes. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make her a too feminine instead of just having it as a female captain and that's it it's but, like yeah and and, and and again the world's slowest uh, uh execution it's like oh and also and, and also they just they, they get every single stormtrooper out to come and stand around while they do <laughs> yeah. it as well it's like everyone yep. we've caught finn and rose yep. who uh, we'll you, you know out. finn you well, know finn well, we don't know rose never mind let, let's everyone let's, let's all come them. out yeah stand around monologuing like the incredibles always takes the mickey out of bad guys doing yeah, he's, yeah he does like his a monologuing. public hanging or yeah, something it like, was like everybody on the ship was like yeah, yeah. and she's standing like let, around let's, kill, just... let's kill them and she's like no no wait a minute <laughs> call these other two guards over with their like light, light lightsaber I, blade thingies let's make it read and i'm like I, i'd Come um, on. <laughs> i'd started fast forwarding uh when benicio del toro turned up because i remember him being so annoying um and then i started watching other bits but um, this this bit when they're all, you know, they're sat there, they've yep. been captured, and I knew the BB-8 driving the the walk a bit. I that, just thought I'm, I don't I don't want to give that another try, so no, I did fast forward through that bit because that bit's just so that. annoying. You know, I'd forgotten that, but actually, I was like, this looks exactly like a scene out of Jedi Fallen Order or some some game. I thought it was just... at the top the top of that thing falls over so quickly. It's like the top of that scatwalk, it just flies off, doesn't it? And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? It's just, yeah, it just, it just looks weird. Um, and I think the f- trying to give Finn another fight scene, because you, know you know in The Force Awakens when he fights that stormtrooper yeah. who just drops his gun and decides to have a <laughs> use a weapon that's a bit more like a sword so they can have a sword fight? Yeah. And it's kind of, they've done a similar thing here with him fighting Captain Phasma. And again, other than the force sensitive excuse finn basically wasn't he basically a janitor or something is that yeah. What the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah so him fighting exactly. against captain phasma surely he wouldn't stand a chance well no but hasn't he had no, some basic that too. training has he had some training but you'd imagine captain phasma no, he, he hasn't had any training he hasn't had any training because well what's it badass. i mean finn 
Finn was all injured, and, and then all of a sudden he's gone straight on this adventure with Rose, and then <laughs> yeah. and then he's holding his own against Fast Captain Phasma, and it's just like, yeah. Well, yeah. is she not meant to be? In it? Is she meant to be good? Yeah. Well, I mean, nobody yeah. else came forward to try to. They're like, no, she's got this. Yeah, no. I tried to help her the last fight and, and she made sure that I regretted it, so no way. One thing I did, <laughs> yeah. one thing I did like about Benicia Del Toro was that he was doing, again, he's doing that, I'm a dick, but I'm actually okay. And he's like, give me a necklace, I'm going to use that, and then he uses it to open the door, and then he gives it back to her. Because he said, oh, right. this is such and such a metal, mm. it's really good. And I thought, yeah, that's okay. Uh, the uh, the bit the bit in the red throne room. Oh, I love this. Now this <laughs> is is the highlight. And, and yeah. the, 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 case you mentioned that a bit ago, but mm -hmm. the birth canal room. I the, it. The, the, this bit is the is the is the only real. Mo well, I, I do I do like the chemistry between uh, Kylo and Ray, but other than that, this is the bit where I would. I wouldn't leave the room or answer the door or anything because that's that whole scene is brilliant and it's just i think snoke i think uh what's his face and uh Gollum's, what's his name andy circus andy yes. um, his performance is really good the cgi is amazing on snoke's face that's when they're doing the close-ups and, yeah. and he's such an absolute arsehole to ren isn't he he's like yeah yeah he's really crap, he's really you're... powerful as well he's, he's quite he's, he's very powerful her. yeah he's a very he's an abusive parent isn't he to to ren I think he's got more presence than the Emperor in the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, Jedi's, how really. did he not sense what was about to happen? Yeah, because Ren's doing that twist. Yeah, so he, he, many he's people sense... have come to kill him before, and yet he just there's no way he could have just been so like on this. Well, the only thing is, is, is it because when he reads minds, he's, he's picturing the fact he's handling a lightsaber and it's just the different lightsaber. So I guess so. Whether it kind of <laughs> tricks that way, it, <laughs> I don't fact, know. Out of this film, I was like. Oh, <laughs> when Snoke got killed, because he was one of the characters I was really yeah. interested in learning more about. Because he's well, it's a great, and everything. It's a great twist, isn't it? It's a, yeah. it's, it's a great oh, twist. Totally. But, but the thing is, you just felt equally frustrated then, because it's a great twist when he kills him. But then you think, well, hang on a minute. I mean, on, on, unless the Mandalorian future seasons are going to explain the, the beginnings of Snoke, because right. Sno Snoke's already powerful enough because he talks about him corrupting Kylo. Yeah. So Snoke's got to have some presence at some point in those Star Wars TV shows, hasn't he? He must oh, yeah. have. Yeah, he's got to, hasn't he? Um, well, my, my two favourite bits in that. By the way, have you, have you guys seen that on YouTube where they have that scene and they put different music over it? So you've got like no. Bohemian Rhapsody, they've got <laughs> Now I'm going to ask Army. you. Yeah. How Wait a minute. You... They, they must surely put... Uh, what's that Beastie Boys track that you can put on any trailer yes. and makes it better? Yeah, Sabotage. Yeah, that, put that on any oh trailer. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> my, my two favourite bits in, in that room are the one where Ray drops a lightsaber and then catches it and cuts the guy through his legs and when she throws it over to Ray and he, and he turns yeah. it on and blasts to the ground. <laughs> yes, well, that's gross. Gross. Face. Absolutely gross. And I wrote a side note on here about that because there's two things I wanted to point out. One, the caliber of his guards. Did you notice that they had a bit more like martial arts to them well like you yes. should pick you up that. and also the introduction yeah. of a lot of different types of saber weapons yes like i loved that what i, what I, what I did it. like what made me laugh actually and weirdly i actually looked at it i looked for it today and it was i think it was when ray and ren walk in and i think ray picks up a lightsaber and then all the guards it's like they go right pose and all the guards sort yeah, of do like a, yeah, they a do stance like... or a pose yeah. Um, now, did you notice though? Because isn't it Ray who actually stabs one of them right through the chest? Okay, but then a couple of scenes later, you see them putting the saber against what is that like a gauntlet or whatever yeah. on their arm, and it you can tell that it's the armor is supposed to be resistant yes. to it. So how come she could so easily like stab him in the chest plate, which would seem to be the strongest part you would think it would be? But Force like a active. couple of scenes later, it's like, <laughs> yeah. look at my awesome arbor that yeah. can't be penetrated. So I was, I made a note about that, but they were still cool. I, I uh, really loved, and they did the back-to-back -back fighting thing, which is always so... good. Yeah, the, yeah, it's nice. It's really nicely framed and nicely oh, shot yeah. from a totally. filmmaking point of view. There was a lot of pan shots in this film, and I wrote um, that too, that there's a ton of great pan shots. Now, yeah, I mean, this is, the, this is the, the frustration with this film being disappointing for me because Ryan Johnson's, made good films oh yeah no. um, really this is one he of, was one in of rogue it. one did you know that he was an no. actor he played an imperial officer or a technician or something did yeah you, 
Didn't know that. I, I, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll bow to the knowledge of you two guys as bigger Star Wars fans to me. But am I right in thinking that <laughs> Snoke's red armored guards are kind of like an extent, like a, like a future extension of the Imperial Emperors, Guard, the em, the Emperor's totally. Imperial yeah, Guards? Kind, yeah, totally. they're, they're obviously just they're just beefed up. They're just on. No, they, he just got the the, the ones gas. that could do the coolest moves and had the coolest weapons, they and they're were. like, "Do you like red?" And they're like, "Sure." And he's like, "Tired." So, <laughs> so then we... Martin, I, I need to lower the tone a little bit. Um, oh, no. th there's a line that Snoke says to Ray in that scene. <laughs> now, to Casey, this is fine because it's an American line, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yes. Now I gotta, I, you'll have to remind yeah. me. Yeah. So when he says, she's sort of resisting him and he goes, such spunk. Now, Andy Serkis <laughs> is English. Yes. Mm hmm. Daisy Ridley's English. Daisy Ridley's English. So why didn't they say to Ryan Johnson that? For the for an English audience, this, that's, that's going to be a bit silly because yeah. it means it, it could have just said such fire or such such a powerful temper or something like that yeah. or such resistance. But so, it, so, in, so in America, case cases, so mm -hmm. spunk just means like uh, feisty, feisty. Yeah. She's got a spark. You, She's a firecracker. You know it, yeah. You do know what it means in England, then? Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's several different words. Like I had to learn about the word posh and a couple other things. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Just, there's a difference, and I, and I understand that from living overseas that there are going to be a little bit. So I see where you're coming from. Yeah. It's just one of those things where I just think if you've got English people on set, you just say you know well that that's got a different meaning, so maybe change it. Like? It just, Dude, know, they probably... should just voice over it. Like, if you could have one word where, like, his maybe his voice doesn't match up, what word would you choose? Funk. <laughs> well, it's like yeah. Shaun. Have you heard it? It's like in Shaun of the Dead, isn't it? You know, in that. Oh gosh! When he, wow! When, when, they, when they very first see that girl in the garden, apparently the original <laughs> cut it says she's pissed. Well, of course, in in England, in the UK, she, I mean, she's drunk. Right. It but in America, means drunk, yeah. in America, she's right. angry. Is, is, mm -hmm. so that's, that's why they changed it, but there we go. Uh, so we get to this little secret planet, don't we, where there's literally nobody left in the rebellion. <laughs> to get there. Yeah. Six, six people left. Yeah. And Into a hole that, that has nothing but a, a completely collapsed uh, exit to get out, you would have thought they would have thought about that, maybe, yeah, like, but, oh. you know, and then, when yeah, in those, need. Those, those ice foxes are pretty cool. Oh, they're I, great! I, I do like them a lot. They are good. They're uh, what, what do you think of the salt flats flying jalopies? Uh, personally, from the way it carries on, I think they should have let Finn hit that barrier and save everyone, because I don't really think they did him any further justice in any more films. And I thought, Rose is... Saving him was utterly bland. It, it's got no character development in this, is it? Oh, yeah. from, a, from a writing point of view, a character's got to grow from the beginning to the end. And Finn, like, which is the problem, which is what Han Solo is like in Return of the Jedi. He, he doesn't really grow. He doesn't, he doesn't. There's no development to his character across this film. I'm concerned about the fact that he had a whole lot of space to get out of that fiery beam <laughs> but yeah. he stayed in it and i'm thinking dude like it does a pan out where it shows you he could he could totally go out of it yeah try to dodge it a little bit yeah but to me yeah. i'm like well she's saving him from just killing himself before he even gets there at this point because he's gonna fall like dude there's it's not moving around it's like it's just a solid <laughs> just, so just go out of it going uh, back to the whole yeah. planet look the planet sorry, looks cool doesn't it with the uh, the red underneath. Yes, the layer I even red. wrote in my notes. Is you notice there's a lot of of red when yes. it comes to this uh, to this movie. And yeah. I thought at first it was smoke that those things were giving out. But when Ren comes down to fight Luke, you see them shifting their feet and the red um, move. Like you see right. it, and I'm like, ah. so can I can I come into? First of all, though, did anyone notice the going back to foreshadowing from the start of the show? Uh, Luke gives Leia the dice, doesn't he? Which yep. is obviously foreshadowing the sort of matter transfer that Ray does to Ren in the next film, where she she gives him a lightsaber, doesn't it? Is it that, or does he give it to her? I can't remember which way around it is now. But they 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 transfer something in the next film, don't they? So yeah, of course they did right. in the last. Yes, yeah. When I first watched it, it didn't click what was going on here. Spoilers for right. you I watched it. This time I was like, oh yeah, Luke's hair is nicer, his beard's less grey. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's his Matrix 
uh, persona, isn't it? It's his avatar. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. the version of him when he fell out with Kylo, isn't it? He looks like that yes. version of yeah, him. Right. And I like the fact that Kylo is like, so we're watching it, me and my wife watching it, and he's like, every gun we've got, shoot now. And they're all shooting. Yeah. I leaned over to my wife. <laughs> Do you and, think we got him? I leaned, I leaned over <laughs> to my wife and I just went, the uh, the ship isn't shooting. <laughs> Anyone yeah. else is shooting, but not the <laughs> ship. When uh, Luke brushes off his shoulder, I lose it every time. I think that's hilarious. Yeah, it was um, like, And I've always wondered if that was like an ad lib. Because I know that when Leia says, I changed my hair, that was completely put in there by... Okay. K- Actually, Carrie Fisher helped write a lot of the script for this. Like, that that's her thing. But like, I always... And you know, I mean, Mark Hamill's the bomb. And yeah, he, I've, I, just, I, I've always wondered if he did that just because, I mean, like, to me, that is like one way of absolutely infuriating Ren. Like, right. you he's, know he he's does lost it now. Yeah, at this point, he's lost it, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, and he's, can't touch he's, me. Yeah, he's just going out. <laughs> so I didn't notice the first time, but I noticed, I, I did notice this time, the, the camera does look at Ren's feet, it? and you see him scuffing right. up some of the ground, and it's red, and then mm. you see the same Shifting. not happening to Luke. And I was like, okay, and then there's a few, and it's when you do a few moves, and he's dodging, mm. isn't he? And I thought, why isn't he? Why isn't he blocking or anything? But of course, that's why, because he, 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 yeah. am, he am a ghost, isn't he? <laughs> so, how he's, come his ghosting? What is it called? Um, force, force ghost or force whatever? Or force how ghosting? come his looks so real as opposed to like everybody else's kind of like glitchy ass force ghost? <laughs> or is well, that like is it different when you're this, dead? This amount kills him off. That's obviously. This yeah, you're last, right. Man. Okay, last, he has yeah. to make it look realistic. That that bit, which um, I remember the first time I saw it, you know, he's done that force, yeah, the force thing, and I, and I don't think I picked up on the hair the first time I saw it, so I thought it was quite clever the way he'd done it. Yeah. But oh, totally. I, I didn't, I, I didn't really buy the fact that doing that makes him die, and then he he just fades away sitting on that stone. Yeah. And and well, and, 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 and I would have thought seeing Luke Skywalker die sh- should have yeah. affected me. I should have had some emotion about that, but it doesn't do anything for me at all. Well, if he knew he was going to die, why didn't he just go meet him in the first place? (laughs) I mean, I'm just saying, like, I know it had to be like, but at least we saw Obi-Wan do the cool disappearing, the cloak dropping down trick. Why couldn't we, like, why couldn't Ren have hit him and then the thing dropped and you're like, yeah. That would have been good. Can I, can I I go back? Can I go back a minute? Sure. One thing I'm going to that was good. I did actually like Ray's understanding of the force and he said can you feel that the water the the, the, the life the plants the water the darkness or all, all of those things and then obviously ray has her obviously when luke's on luke's on dagobah and he has his dream sequence with vader that's hers isn't it like in the mirror hmm. and the i quite like that that, that was all right. cool. but what's the point of right. that mirror scene there well that, that's, you know when you see multi- her, multiples that's... i don't i don't buy it what's i, well, I, I, I thought it was what's it trying to say forward and backward throughout history infinity infinite yeah i'm still trying to figure it out because in this movie there is a ton of symbolism because they don't want you like they're doing that classic star wars slight symbolistic foreshadowing where they want you to know but they don't want you to know but you're like okay wait a minute no i don't think she is a skywalker what's going on and, here and yeah and, and i don't feel as if i have the trust in them that they knew where it was going either which right, is I, I agree by swapping, with you. It, swapping yeah. from director to director so right. it's like well let's hint at a few things but then not yeah I mean, this is the thing it, it, it's almost like ryan johnson's just taken all the bits that abrams did and just Chuck some of those things out. Anyway, it starts. It's interesting when, after they've had the uh, red room fight, because I almost thought, oh, is this going to be that grey Jedi thing where maybe these two are going to come together and it's not Jedi and it's not Sith. Yeah. But then, yeah. then, but then, Kylo just makes, basically just makes himself another just hard like Vader you know, again. Uh, yeah. Another Vader essentially. He's anyway, playing like, the victim. Rob, oh, I, yeah. did, Rob, I did do an American style standing up at the cinema whooping <laughs> when uh, when Chewie and Ray come back with the Millennium Falcon. Now, that was pretty cool. I like that. And I was like, yeah, hey, it's come to save the day. And then and then as Casey said a minute ago, the the, the rebel base is full of rocks. So of course you got Ray <laughs> lift, lifting, I, lifting rocks. I understand that it hasn't been used in a while, but don't you think somebody would have gone down there and been like, "Yeah, there used to be an escape, but if anybody's got to take a piss, you know." <laughs> <Good> <laughs> they, they, they use the force a lot to lift rocks, don't they? 
maybe that's the it's the, not, it's the I thing mean, to yeah. practice with. Maybe practice I mean, they're like, no, you know there. what? General General Organa can probably lift those up when we get here. Uh, all right. right. Do you reckon there's a yeah, load, of, not. Do you reckon there's a load <laughs> of low level force users who are in construction? And they just do clearance and building, building clearances and construct. Because they're, they're, all they can do is lift rocks. They're really good pilots and they can lift rocks. You have to put in your Metachlorian count before you like apply oh, for the job. No. Oh, no. My, son, my son's always said that because uh, he, he quite liked playing the um, Force Unleashed games. Yeah. And there's a set piece in the Force Unleashed. Which it's, I don't think it's classed as official canon storyline or anything, is it? Where Vader mm. has an apprentice in those games. Yes, yeah. And there's a bit where they're like, they're like ripping star destroyers out of the atmosphere like the, the, the really doing some big moves with it right yeah you know, my son was like why, why didn't you see anyone do anything as impressive as that in the movies you know like just well, pushing ships out of the way and we do in the next one don't we in the next one don't we see Ray versus uh versus is it Ren trying to stop that ship from getting off the ground and they tear it apart yeah that yeah that bit yeah yeah but, well he he says later i think that he pushed her to do it to make sure that what he thought or who she was was actually true. He's like, I pushed you to do it. I needed to see for myself whether or not it was true. And then you're like, what was true? So, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm just I'm just hopping it's forward okay. a film here. It's so fine. We find out that Ray is the Emperor's granddaughter. Is that right? Yes. Uh huh. Eventually, <laughs> that, that's what yes. they really, That's what they reveal in the next one. Yeah. 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 I tell you what, some woman's got to be really hard up if the emperor's the best she can do. So, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate power. With his, with his black skin fong <laughs> on and his black, uh, black skin ah, sheets. Ah, but is oh, how does it fit? With, how does it fit with timeline? Would it be pre him going all weird? No, uh, it wouldn't be, would it? Let me think. Let me think. No, because he's already weird when the babies, uh, when, when Amidala dies giving birth, he's already got weird. I'm too oh, weak, well, yeah, you're killing of course. me! <laughs> yes, of course. It, it, <laughs> that's for Luke's it, 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 it actually can't be that much, because the, at Ray's age, it's actually almost between Empire and Jedi, he must yeah. have. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you think that's weird, have you. Um, the, Check out the plot for that uh, Harry Potter play in London, that Cursed Child play. That's even weirder. I don't even know. What, I, don't, I don't know what. I didn't is. even know there was a play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So getting getting back to getting back to this then, Rob, you didn't give it a good score. I gave it a mediumly okay score. But I am going to say, so far, I like the sequels more than the prequels. Oh yeah. Uh, um. I, I really enjoyed watching Force Awakens again the other week. Yes, so did I. Re really enjoyed it. I, 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 yeah. I thought it was like entertaining start to finish. This, I, I was really struggling to hold my attention. Oh, this um, scored higher than the, la the the very last one. Did you guys know that? Yeah. yeah. Just, in, just in general. You see, yeah, I've only you, can, you can pluck all different bits. So, for example, I'm a massive fan of the Darth Maul fight in episode one. But yeah. the rest of episode one is a little bit of a slog, isn't it? Yeah, and, and would pick out pieces of them that you would like. At least yeah. it's world, it's world built. I mean, the prequels are world building, aren't they? About the Clone Wars yeah. and with Qui Gon yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, this one, I mean, it tries to do something different, but it doesn't really follow it through. So you've got another throne room scene. This is essentially like Jedi with them standing by a round window, going, mm -hmm. "Look, there's your friends out there." They essentially do that <laughs> yeah. again. You've got another Jedi messing up the training again. Mm -hmm. So, because Yoda trained Dooku, mm -hmm. messed up. Uh, Obi-Wan <laughs> trains Anakin, messes up. Now they've got Luke trailing Kylo and messes up. And it's just, it just seems to be so Although he's trained, he's trained Ray and, she, and won, so he did it. He didn't do a lot Luke. of training. Did he train her though? She, well, she's got the she, she, she I mean, <laughs> He just watches her standing there. there. If, if yeah. there was, like, there wasn't a lot. Like, I think she just kind of showed up knowing what was going on. I, yeah, I that's thought, true. Do you know what I thought? Because she's got that staff, she would have been a really good double-ended lightsaber like Darth Maul. She would have been a great wizard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. You shall not pass. <laughs> the first Jedi wizard. You shall not pass. I thought you'd be. So, guys, I mean, I think we've probably worn out how I slagging off of <laughs> this. Do you know what? Uh, uh, Rob, we've had some ups and lows. Uh, I, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still loving it. Poe po Dam po Dameron's story goes nowhere. 
the slow spaceship chase is boring. Yeah. Uh, Hondo is ridiculous. I'm, to be honest, I never liked Laura Dern in anything. Uh, the whole thing <laughs> in Casino stuff is boring and annoying. Oh gosh, yeah, that, that's that's the one part the, I really the, hate. The characterization of Luke is, I don't... Rob, are you... Oh, we've lost you. Rob, are you saying oh. me you're not a fan of a drinking blue alien titty milk? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, is this the same milk that Aunt Brew's <laughs> drinking then? Mate, I've just got... Can you imagine Aunt Brew with this animal sat out in the back garden just sat there going... Milking and it. Aunt Brew's there squeezing it. <laughs> well, it oh. makes you feel better, Rob. Mark Hamill did not like anything about about his character in this like he he had his moment and threw his fit yeah. and then he said i don't like any of it but guess what i'm gonna complete your vision and i'm gonna make it happen because i'm a professional and i'm yeah. awesome you know mark hamill and he was only two years older than uh alec guinness i think it was oh, really? when he played oh yeah and um so i mean I, I i'd like to say like regardless he brought it he might have been a little bit whiny and broody but he still bought, brought it yeah. mark hamill <laughs> He is very good in it. He's, he is oh, really totally. good in it. And it totally. It, in a way, it makes me wish he had a little bit of redemption. Instead of dying mm -hmm. at the end of this, would have carried through. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the idea was Force Awakens was meant to be spotlight on Han, kill Han, spotlight mm -hmm. on Luke, kill Luke, and I guess the third one would off. be spotlight yeah. on uh, yeah. Carrie Fisher, and then I was going to kill Carrie Fisher, I uh, guess. As a, as a sort of closing night, note, by the way, C-3PO does have two gold legs in this one so but not a red I'm, arm i'm happy with that but a red arm <laughs> is that a solid snake uh thing there because he has a red arm doesn't he in the sunset so oh, got ways, red uh, red uh, red. have you got any sort of final moments you want to discuss about it i think we're, we're pretty much done. Rob, uh, rob i gave this seven imperial guard ninjas out of ten for <laughs> mine actually you know what the only good the only good thing about this is that 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 scene and I'm now going to tell you why that seems actually rubbish as well. What? You know, you know when you watch kung fu films yes. and they have like ten people yeah. against Bruce Lee. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. You attack yeah. first. Yeah. We'll, up to we'll stand here. We'll just go. We'll attack him one at a time. They do do that a little bit in that. Adam Driver is the bomb. I mean, he's that dude is built like a wall, and I could watch him fight all day long. So I'm totally. I'm, that's it's a redeeming fine. quality. Casey, <laughs> yeah. Casey, what was your yes. sort of what was your sort of score out? Of, how did you sort of? Um, I think I'm just, I'll, I'll say seven, um, mainly because of the, at least they got Ray and Ben, right? I'm going to say Ben because I feel like he's always been with her. Yeah. I don't see him as Kylo, but I think that their, their chemistry completely just blows any other chemistry that you've ever seen between yeah. two people in this. And that, that makes up for it for me. It does, yeah. It, yeah, it, it does. They, they, they so are. At least that's authentic. I mean, you even at the end, and we all know what happens, it's absolutely beautiful, and I did cry for that. Well, <laughs> for I'm gonna, that yeah, part. I'm going to cry at the next film for sure. Oh, totally, but, yeah. <laughs> right, guys, should we, should we wrap it up there, yeah? Yeah. Right. Listeners, lovely, if you're still here and you haven't, you haven't, <laughs> stood under the feet of an oncoming BB-8 scout walker. <laughs> Where was that going? Where was that going then? Oh, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening to us. As always, you know you can email us. It's we have been watching podcast at gmail.com. Over on Twitter, it's at WHBW Podcast. On Instagram, it's we have been watching podcast. And Rob, guess what? I, I, I know. I know. You're gonna, we're down with the kids now, Rob. We've got a TikTok account. And I've put two what? videos up there. And we've had like 10 <laughs> looks at it. So, Are you going to be reviewing the Star Wars films, but as in, in, a, in a TikTok dance style? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, Fortnite Kylo Ren dances <laughs> with mm. a lightsaber. There we go. <laughs> Casey, thank you for joining us so much. Absolutely. Anytime. Uh, Rob, I will see you soon. And listeners, may the force be with you. And we'll see you next time for our last Star Wars film. Oh no, I'm going to start crying. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.